So today we're going to be doing a no heat boba straw waves. Um, and this is what it looks like right now when it's done. And I'm going to teach you how to make these and teach you how to put this on your hair. So let's get started. So all you're going to be needing is scotch tape, a bunch of boba straws, a spray bottle of water, um, an elastic band, and some hair clips. So basically this is how we do it. So what we're going to be needing are, we're going to be needing three straws, only we're going to be using three straws. Take this, first put that out. Alright, so now from here, take that elastic band and then I'm just going to use two straws first and then I'm going to put that, I'm going to tie those two straws and then I'm going to wrap them and secure them in place using a scotch tape. And the very reason why I'm doing this is because I just want um, the straws to be secure because I find that if I immediately just um, put the hair tie on the three straws, they kind of wobble and they're very hard to work with, especially on what we're going to do with our hairs later. So. Yeah, so basically just wrapping it around with the straws. Actually, the scotch tape is so optional. It's just that, you know, I find that the hair ties are sort of like, or the elastic bands are, uh, makes the three straws wobble and they don't stay like formally in place and line. So that's what I did. So yeah. And now once it's fully secured, you're going to look like you have a crimper that looks like that. So yeah. Okay, so dampen your hair. Take a comb and then just comb your hair through so that you won't get any tangles. Okay, take the straw and let's pretend this is barrel number one, barrel number two, and barrel number three. So now you're just going to wrap your hair around barrel number one and then on barrel number two and then up on barrel number three. And then as you go down, you do just do the same thing. You might want to pull it up a little bit and then on when you get to the tip of your hair all you have to do is you seal the tip of your hair using a clamp okay so the tip of my hair ends right here on this on the third straw What it looks like right now. Now you have the option to like seal this together. I'm just going to be using um, elastic bands to keep them together so that I would get tight waves. So there you go. So it doesn't like opens and you know it prevents the straws for like for them to fall apart or anything. So they're they're just more contained if you put an elastic band. You'd get loose waves if you gather bigger sections of hair. I would probably sleep on this. We will see the results by then. Oh. Hi everyone! So now let's see the results.
Okay, so the wigs are very interesting. They kind of look like they're crimped. Now, of course, you can move the crimp a little bit up here. I actually started a little bit down here because I don't want it to start up here. But if you want to make your crimped a little bit up from right here, you can actually do that according to your own preference, really. So this is what the waves look like there. It's sort of like a combination of kind of ish curls and waves. Yes, which is like really interesting because it doesn't look like it's been, it's like super wavy and it doesn't look like it's super curly. It's kind of like actually crimped. It looks crimped. Rather than like the normal Hollywood like really defined waves. So yeah, I actually like them. It's, it has a new texture. I hope you guys like this and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I'm on the road side. I'm on the road side. <laughs> I am not on the road side. <laughs> Okay, because they look the lighting is good. <laughs> I think I'm about to film another video. And I'm out here and my neighbors can see me. I kind of think I'm crazy. Anyway, oh well, <laughs> okay.